Hey, welcome to Unleashed Your Tennis. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you step by step on how to learn the tennis serve. You are in for a great treat. Are you ready? Let's dive into the lesson right now. Now, in a tennis game, the serve is the only stroke that you are in control. If you miss it twice in a row, you lose the point. And we all know that in a game, you either serve or you return serve. So the serve is part and parcel of the tennis game and is very crucial for you to play a great game. So in this video, I'm going to show you all the exact steps that I use to teach my students on how to execute the serve. Alright, let's dive in. Now let's watch a couple of demonstrations on how I execute the serve. From a demonstration, you can see that the serve is made out of two parts, the toss and the hit. Similar to other things in life, for example, playing piano, playing the guitar, you need both hands to work together. It takes a lot of practice for both hands to coordinate well and to execute the technique perfectly. Alright, so now I'm going to break the serve into different parts. Let's talk about the toss first. Now the toss in the tennis surf is the most crucial part of the technique. If you have a great toss, then you should be able to hit a great surf. So how to hold the ball? Alright, I'm going to come near you and show you how I hold the ball. Alright, as you can see from the, from the video, I'm holding the ball this way, finger pads holding on to the ball, and the ball is not touching my palm. Okay, if I turn this way, all right, you'll find that my thumb is on top of the ball and it's, I'm in a relaxed mode. Okay, I'm not gripping tight. I'm holding it lightly. And when I stretch out the tossing hand, okay, this is the way where we are going to toss the ball. Keep the tossing arm straight. So the first exercise I want you to do is to gently lift up the tossing hand and release the ball by opening up the palm. Okay, this way. Keep it straight and release the ball by opening up the palm and catch the ball. You notice that the ball is not spinning if the ball is spinning, means that you are doing this way. This is spinning. But what I want you to do is to release the ball by opening up the palm. This way. If you have done the first exercise, now let's proceed to the next one. It's a progression from the first exercise where you gently lift up the hand, release the ball and catch it. Now, what you need to do is to raise it up higher, release the ball somewhere around your forehead level, and I want you to catch the ball above the head, keeping the hand straight throughout. Okay, let me show you. So from here, this was what we did just now. Now, lift up the hand higher, higher, keep, it, hand, keep the hand up straight, Catch it above the head. Okay, do this consistently for about 10 times. Now let's talk about the racket hand. First thing you have to know is how to grip the racket. And I'm coming to show you. The grip that we are using is called the continental grip. Now for, to, for you, a quick lesson on how to hold a continental grip. 
take the racket, you hold it this way, okay? The butt is facing you, okay? Now the top bevel, we call it as bevel number one. So if you go clockwise direction, okay? Bevel one, look, go clockwise, bevel two, three, four, five, and so on, okay? Now for a right-hander, you have to place the knuckle of the index finger on bevel 2. Okay, so for right-hander, this is how you're going to hold the continental grip. Okay, for left-hander, you'll be holding on to the other side. So I'm a left-hander, so I'm holding on to this side. This will be my continental grip. Take note that when you hold the racket, the fingers should be spread out this way. The index finger should feel like you are squeezing the trigger of a gun. Okay, now do not hold the racket this way like a block. This will tighten up everything. So spread the fingers this way. Spread them out. So for right-handers, this is how you're going to hold your racket for the serve. Now, the next segment, we are going to talk about how to position our body in order to serve well. Now, in a tennis serve, the way we position ourselves is standing sideways or diagonal, standing diagonally, such that our front leg is pointing towards the net post. Okay, in mathematical term, we can say pointing 45 degrees towards the net post. Okay, this is our front foot. Our back foot will be parallel to the line. Okay, and it's behind the front foot, standing this way. Okay, so for me as a lefty, I'll be standing this way. For right-handed players, your front foot which is your left foot, will be standing this way, pointing diagonally towards the net post. Your right leg will be parallel along the baseline, or in, in my case, I'm standing at the service line, and you'll be behind this way. Regardless of where you are serving, be it at court or deuce court, you'll be standing in the same position. Alright, so now we have understand the position in the subsequent exercises. When I say get into the surf position, this is what I meant. Get into this position. Now it's the exciting part. We're going to hit some balls. Now, the first exercise that I want you to do is to execute a half surf. In fact, it's not really a half surf, but it's more like a tap. Okay, so it looks like this. I want you to hold the racket with the continental grip. Okay, remember how, how we hold the continental grip? Okay, and your racket will be somewhere here behind the head. Now, go stand in your serving position. Okay, I'm a lefty, so I'm standing this way. If you're a right-handed player, remember you have to stand this way and the racket is behind the head. The other hand, We'll be holding on to the ball. Recap how you're going to toss the ball. Remember to release the ball by opening up the palm. So from here, with the racket behind the head, okay, we are going to toss the ball up slightly, not too high, and we're going to connect the ball by hitting it at the top. Okay, just simply Tap it over. If you want to go nearer to the net, that's fine as well. Okay, but for us, let's start at the service line. Okay, so from here, racket behind the head, a gentle toss, and tap over. Okay, we're going to connect by hitting it above the head here, around here. Let me show you again. Okay, so I toss it up gently and connect. Again, racket behind the head, toss it up, and connect. At this point in time, 
we are just focusing on connecting at the top. All right. So one tip for you, if you are unable to connect at the top, you can practice this first. Remove the racket from the hand. Practice this, this action. Imagine you are tossing the ball and you clap both hands at the top. Clap both hands above the head this way. Feel this connection at the top. And then go back to the half serve exercise. I have one more ball here. So racket behind the head. Gently toss it up and connect there. Now from here, let's work from the half serve again. Okay, once you get very comfortable with the tapping, the next stage is we're going to feel the shoulder tilt. Let's keep it simple first. Get into the serving position with the racket behind the head. Now as you toss the ball up, I want you to feel the shoulder being tilted. So the tossing hand, shoulder goes up, the racket hand, shoulder will go down. So feel this tilt as you, as you toss the ball. Alright? Now in tennis term, we call this the trophy position. Alright? Now, whichever style that you adopt in a tennis serve, all tennis serve will come to this trophy position eventually before they contact the ball. So let's look, work on the shoulder tilt. So from here, keep the tossing hand straight. Toss the ball up and tap the ball. Okay? At this point in time, no power required. Just practice on connecting at the top. Okay? Racket behind the head. Okay? One more. Okay? So feel this shoulder tilt. As the ball goes up, and when you're about to contact the ball, this shoulder tilt will tilt back and go up. Okay, let me show you two more serve. So from here, okay. Okay, you see this tilting of the shoulder? Once this point goes up, as you go up to contact, it will come back. The next part is working on the follow through. Let me show you. Just now we were working on the shoulder tilt. After you contact the ball, the next part is, I want you to continue with the motion after you hit the ball. I want you to bring the racket out bring it out and then come in and finish on the other side of the body okay so if you are right hander after you contact the ball the racket will go out this way come down and then finish to your left let me show you so let's work on a half serve again all right so from here Finish to the opposite side. Okay, again. As you can see, my finish is here. So if I'm serving towards your direction, I will hit the ball, hit the ball. Bracket goes out this way, and then I'll finish here. Okay? Now, two more. Two more serve. Okay. One more. In this segment, I'm going to guide you through how to do the full swing. Okay, now let's walk through the progression together. First, I want you to hold the racket with just three fingers. The first three, the thumb, index finger, and the middle finger. So hold the racket at the bottom of the handle. Okay, remember to hold onto the continental grip. Okay, now with this three finger grip, it's very relaxed. All right, there's no need to hold tight. 
just let it swing this way like a pendulum and you are leading the swing with the edge of the racket so if you are doing this way if you are doing this way then it's wrong so it has to be on the edge swing lead by the edge of the racket so from here three finger swing very easy just relax and let it swing like a pendulum okay now I want you to gradually lift up this elbow okay feel the elbow coming up gently okay so lift up gently then from here all right you're going to do this you're going to lift up the racket okay lift up the racket this way just using the momentum okay lift up the racket and then once you get comfortable if this is easy the next step is to bring the racket up and let it drop behind the head like this okay so you drop behind the head this way okay so if i show you from this angle so dangle swing relax lift it up lift it up and let it drop this way okay again one more time okay so from here let it drop so throughout i'm using three fingers and i'm not holding tight on the racket okay so let's get this done okay relax lift it up and go one more and go so in one full motion it looks like this okay once you get to the point where the racket reaches behind the head the next part is to simply imagine throwing the racket up onto the ball all right so without the ball let's do the full swing okay so from here okay that was where we ended just now so now we're going to throw the racket up this way okay remember you see when i throw it up i will finish with the follow through and i'm still using the three fingers okay so one smooth swing swing back up drop through okay swing back up drop through back up drop through okay let's break it up into these stages swing back goes up drop and through okay one more time swing back up drop and through okay so let's practice this together now you know about the toss you know about the full swing how to combine them together now the combination of these two will take a lot of practice okay at first you may find that the timing is off the toss is everywhere it's normal you need a lot of practice okay so let me show you how the full serve is done all right now go to the serving position okay generally we'll start the serve this way all right with the racket and ball together in front so from here we will start preparing both hands one hand to do the toss and the other hand will be preparing the racket for the contact okay so it looks like this so from here okay let me get a few more balls so the full serve looks this way both racket and ball together in front as you start preparing both hands will work this way from here we start slip splitting this hand going up to toss this hand prepare okay as it reaches somewhere here in front of my forehead i'll start to release the ball and at the same time my racket will keep on moving from here and your some it will connect above the head 
okay? While this tossing hand remains up. So if I'm serving from this direction, okay? So it looks like this. Okay? Now let's serve a few more balls. Okay? One more. Now before we end this video, I got a couple more tips for you. First is to break the surf up and practice. If you find that you cannot do the full surf now, that's okay. You can break it up. For example, you can work on the toss first, work on the toss and catch. You can even do it at home. All right, so break it up and practice. Second part is, you don't have to come for, to the baseline straight away. You can work somewhere at the service line or even nearer the net, just to get the confidence of hitting the ball over the net. Gradually work yourself back to the baseline. And last tip I have for you is, practice for consistency, not power. All right, I know a lot. some of you may want to hit the ball hard immediately. That's not the way we, we practice. We try to go for consistency and then power will eventually come. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you like this video, do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to Unleash Your Tennis channel. That's all from me today. Until next time, happy playing.